I stopped tapping, put my pencil in my book bag, closed my eyes in frustration, and then grabbed two pens and start beating harder than a single guy on Valentine's Day, bro. It's y'all what it do, man. It's y'all boy, Kendall, bro. It's y'all boy. Welcome to the first official live screen reactions for Twitch. Hopefully, this goes right. If not, I'll be very, very disappointed. But y'all, the first video we're going to react to is Yo Yo 808. I got jump slash fighting my school bully part 2. Featuring some of my boys. Devontae the one in Stanley Animation, bruh. Y'all, let go ahead and get to it. I see him and a group of his friends standing in front of the school. The bus pulls up to the school, the door opens. I step out, and one of his boys sees me and taps Justin on the shoulder. And then... I'm glad all the fighting I ever did was in elementary and middle school. Like, I'm glad... All of the fights I've ever gotten into took place What's up, when I was fighting skinny, frail 12 to 14 year olds. I mean, I still got my ass beat, but I'd rather get beat by a frail 12 year old than a grown adult. But I mean, things are different now. Puberty hit. <laughs> my boy Bill. Grown. I've changed. And now, I beat the pranks off of a 12 year old. Yeah, I got <laughs> up a few times as a kid. And honestly, I deserved it every time. I was an annoying kid, bro. I can't cap. But of all the people who have fought me in the past, Justin, the guy from part one of the story, gave me the most trouble. Let me explain. Justin was like my main school bully in middle school. If I could describe him with one word and one word only, it would be Thanos. If he was black and also 5'7 with a beard. But a full beard as a middle schooler is significantly more intimidating than a full infinity gauntlet. Like it takes Bruce Jenner levels of testosterone. So needless to say, bro was not one for the games. And somehow I still ended up giving him a controller because one day I found myself going toe to black air force with this guy. And right as I was on the cusp of losing our fight, it got broken up. And I thought that was the end of it. Unbeknownst to me, I go to school the next day and see him and a group of kids looking for me. And that's where the video ended. And I ended it like that because after I saw his group, I just ran inside the school and avoided them all day. That's kind of why I never told part two of this story. Nothing happened. But I did have a different, even more physical run in many years prior with a kid who I named Paul. So scene, I'm in either late elementary or early middle school. Have y'all ever seen a black dude named Paul? I'm not fully sure. It's about third period and I walk into my math class and I'm very unpleasantly surprised with the words test today on the board. I say surprised because I, I didn't study. I never did. Like 69. I had better things to do with my life than wasted away, trapped in our broken, sorry excuse for a public schooling system. You're right. So yeah, I was busy the day before. I didn't study, but it wouldn't have made a difference if I did because I can't retain information at all. Like I'm straight garbage at taking tests. Like I could take a Tesla to a driving test and still fail. I could bring the Sharingan to an eye exam Sharingan. and still fail. Like bro, I could not pass an HIV test if I was Magic Johnson. And because oh my of my lack of wait, testing wait, skills, wait, wait, wait. You wrong. I found myself sitting at a desk staring at an empty test paper that I didn't understand for like 30 minutes. And me, being the fidgety person that I am, I start tapping my pencil on the desk because it, it just helps me focus. To which, understandably, Paul, who was sitting next to me, doesn't approve and says exactly like this. Yo. Yo. I'm trying to focus. The hell are you doing? Stop. Now, this is where the I deserved it part comes in because if there are two things I dislike strongly, especially when I was younger, it's rude people and being told what to do. So, obviously, I didn't take being rudely told what to do lightly. So, I said nothing and kept tapping like a jerk. I mean, he was being rude, but for me to keep tapping for the sole purpose of annoying him is kind of OD. I can't lie. So, I continue my tapping and I hear, Do you think you're being funny or something? You're not. You're just annoying. Dude, stop. After hearing this familiar voice, I look over and see none other than Justin himself. Now this, this is before he had the beard, but not before he had black Air Force energy. Like beard or not, this dude was still mad intimidating. And apparently him and Paul were homies. So not only 
is Paul angry with me? But my main school bully Justin was as well. I look over and a little angel pops up on my shoulder and says, Now Yo-Yo, I know this situation may seem deep, but if you stop tapping, I promise you it will be over. Please just stop. I see you fight these niggas. Can you say that? I'm saying. Who's checking me? OG <coughs> is definitely checking me, but why fight? He'll be up against two people, neither of which he even kind of stands a chance with. Wait, you, you don't think I'm at least beating Paul? He got a strap on you? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be the good guy? He can't stop tapping. I never stopped tapping, and at this point, Paul and Justin are directly in my face. I was outnumbered, outclassed, the devil called me a nigga, and Angel told me I couldn't fight. What the fuck? Here. So reluctantly, I stopped tapping, put my pencil in my book bag, closed my eyes in frustration, and then grabbed two pens and start beating harder than a single guy on Valentine's Day, bro. <laughs> I was a stubborn kid. They told me to stop making beats? Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Yeah. Oh, crazy. They are both in my face, livid. Paul snatches a pen out of my hand. Yo, won't you ride the bus? When Paul said that, all of the confidence I had shattered. I'm talking more cracked than Demi Lovato. I look to my conscience for backup, and they look more cracked than Demi Lovato. I look at Paul <laughs> in the eyes, and he looks more cracked than Demi <laughs> I look Paul in the eyes, and he's just emitting the blackest of black air force energy even his aura was creasing but i didn't even get a chance to be scared because justin says yeah he rides bus 257. Just nani what bus i rode because he rode the same bus as me 257 i'm a beater word me too see you after school brody yeah wait did this nigga just pause it's a part three. Damn. These goddamn movies taking longer than fucking goddamn the original Spider Man. The hell. This shit.